So the zucchini's raw, uh, hence the forks. If it was blanched, it would sink, but since it's raw, it'll float. So I figure this will just make it a little easier for those little buggers to crawl over to it. They can actually crawl right under the surface of the water. So if it was floating, they'd find it that way as well. But let's see how long it takes for them to get here. Right now it is, I have no idea what time it is, uh, but I will check that out and I'll put that in the video. Well, I'll just do it. Hang on, let me find out. It is 8.33 a.m. on this lovely Wednesday morning in Palm Desert, California. So we'll come back and we'll keep an eye on it. There we are about eight hours later. They're filling up. I took one off the fork and let it float. Figured it would work well. And I think it's actually working better than the one that's still on the fork. Anyway, I'm also going to, I think I'm going to drop a, an algae wafer in here too. They seem to act like a, a magnet too and then just use a net to, if she's not doing anything. You know, if we had two Perrys, we could put a net between them and play platypult badminton. Who's a net? Ferb, that's it. I know what we're going to do today. No, seriously, who's a net? To, um, to pick them up or, or a, a siphon. All right, well, it's a little more than 24 hours later and you can see this piece of zucchini that's floating is pretty well covered with these bladder snails on the sides, on the bottom, and then the one at the bottom of the tank also pretty well covered. So what I'm gonna do is pull the, these pieces of zucchini out, brush off uh, all the snails, and put them back in until there's nothing left. So I'm gonna put some water in here. That'd be an easy way to uh, deal with the snails, I think. Wipe off a little of the excess. And then we'll start with the one on the surface. Let's make sure we can see what's going on here. Probably not. I'm gonna raise this up a little bit. So here's zucchini number one. And there's I don't know, maybe 30 snails in there. Little bitty ones, fresh hatch. And there's a bunch stuck to the sides of the, the tank too. I'm gonna pull this fork out. I've since put a heater in here. So it was running at about 72 because it's chilly, kind of chilly in this room. There's a, let's just take that out here. There's a little mini split AC running. It keeps it comfortable in here because it's 100 and I don't know, probably about 105 outside right now. And we'll wash these all off or, or just kind of rinse them off. Um, and then I'll stick the fork back in. And this one can go back down to the bottom of the tank and we'll do it again. So and I'll put it up against the edge, the glass. I don't know if that'll make it easier for them to migrate to it. They seem to get around just fine. So let me show you what I got. Let me take you off the tripod and I'll show you what I got. Was that for a load? Not bad, huh? And there are still yeah, glare. Glare's no fun. They're all over this place. Maybe this is easier. There's some along the glass there up in the corner down at the other end of the tank. So we'll just keep doing this until we've reduced the population. So the zucchini experiment's been working really well. I'll pull this out. I've got an end that I cut off and I sliced it. Uh, I'm gonna go put it in some other tanks. Uh, this one's got a bunch on it. I took the other one off the fork. It is floating over here. I think the fish are eating off of it too. But there's... Uh, there's one snail. No, there's none on the back right there. But I'm guessing there's probably some, maybe. Let's turn it around. No, that one's pretty well done. Um, but I'm gonna go put these in one of the other tanks. I'll, and then I'll come back and pull this chunk out and uh, rinse all those off. So after pulling zucchini out of here a, a couple times and loads and loads of snails, there's still some left, and I put another piece of zucchini in, the fish ate it, 
Uh, the snails really didn't go to it. So, but I got rid of really the lion's share of them. So I think what I'm going to do now is come back with, I don't know, maybe my shrimp net um, and, and hand pick as many out as I can. There's still some along the water line right there. Um, where are we here? Uh, further down. Yeah, around this area. There's some on that other wall. Down in the corner. Um, back in there. So, and in the horn wart. So I'm just gonna work on that a little bit. Uh, but it's generally what I recommend using zucchini to catch out snails in a heartbeat because it really did knock out the biggest part of the population. So experiment, yeah, I, it was, I think it's successful. Obviously not 100%, but still successful. So yeah, I would definitely recommend uh, slices of zucchini and just, you don't even have to blanch them. We're not in the fish eat them. And I put some, I think uh, I've got other videos, part of this earlier on, I should say, um, where shrimp were, were eating them as well in the other tanks. Um, and that's okay too, but I pulled lots of, uh, lots of snails out of uh, several tanks with the zucchini. So anyway, uh, if you found that useful, uh, give it a like and let me hear your comments. And then also, uh, if you haven't already, do me a favor and uh, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for looking or thanks for watching, whatever you prefer.